you guys. Welcome to Street Politics with Talisha. Um, I want to chime in on this Breonna Taylor stuff, settlement. But see, let me tell y'all people something. This is why stop just always running because you hear cop kills black person without getting all the information on whatever happened. Because this stuff is starting to irritate my soul. You know what I'm saying? Like, just say what happened in this case and leave it at that. Don't make it racial and this, this, that. Because not all the facts is out in the case about, about, about this case. First of all, if you settle with somebody, that mean, okay, I must have did something wrong. You did something wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and settle. This is that. So the cops must have felt like, okay, we could have probably did something better, but we was in the right. Breonna Taylor had to family had to feel like okay it she was wrong so but it could have went somewhere else i'm gonna settle because that's why you settle so the family out here taking seven million dollars while you fools out here in the street marching and burning down the black community on the behalf of black lives matter saying arrest the cops for Bri if you think in your mind that for one second any cop about to be arrested because of brianna taylor case you got to be out your mind first of all if you go through the case and, and figure out and see what really happened it's a lot of wiretape evidence from brianna taylor and them when they was getting drugs delivered to her house but see this is what the media do when a when a, when a cop shoots a black person they don't give you the facts. They give you these scare tactic facts. You see what I'm saying? So you have Breonna Taylor up under investigation. First of all, she's up under investigation for running drugs. And was she running drugs? Yes, she was running drugs because they have the wire taste to prove it. They even have the wire taste to prove it when the dude that shot at the cops, he's in jail running his mouth over the phone. Like they got wire tapes of these people talking over the phone. I don't know if, listen, I know some of y'all ain't ever been in jail. But I don't understand these fools. When that phone thing say you are being recorded and monitored, trust and believe you are being recorded and monitored, especially if you in jail got something to do with a cop shooting and killing somebody and it's high profile. You don't think these people listening to you? No, no. They in there running their mouth, saying all kind of stuff about about Breonna Taylor. Want to know, did they find the drugs in the house? Want to know this? The, the, the baby mama on there blaming a the dude for getting her killed. The people in the streets mad that, that they saying that he the reason why he, that Breonna Taylor got killed did they find she Breonna Taylor getting drugs first of all she, the MS kill me with the MS MET acting like she was she was she been off of an MET she wasn't an EMS worker whatever she wasn't an EMS worker she been off that Breonna Taylor was a drug dealer let's, let's just be clear about this it's sad that she lost the life her life but this is the type of life that she lived when I was living in the, in the streets, doing what I was doing, when I got arrested, I didn't feel sorry for myself. My family didn't feel sorry for me. You want to know why? Because I was I knew what I was getting myself into. I knew the repercussions behind of, 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 of the, the things that I was doing in the streets. Now, you have people out here doing all this stuff to this community and the family. To me, just so Breonna Taylor out, if she's innocent. If you feel like she's just so innocent, why did you settle with them? Because I'm going to take you to trial and try to get you, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Try to get some charges against you. Then I come with the settlement. Because you had the same thing like um, Tamir Rice. She sold her son out, in my opinion, if you, because I don't feel like you should have took a damn, them people should have been in jail. Everybody in America know that that cop was just i don't even okay but she took the money but see this is what people do when that money get involved but they get them m's behind these names behind behind then it's then it's all games out the box now they about to tell you people that's out here marching for brianna taylor to take y'all goofy bus home we pay we don't we don't need you no more so i wonder what benjamin crump got to say his whole camp i wonder what y'all got to say now because you can't act like don't act they go don't come out and act like oh this is this this not over because it's over because i i can put my top dollar on it none of them officers are going to be charged they are the police department is not about to get somebody seven million some dollars 
I heard it's seven million. They, I, I, they haven't came out with a press release at the time I'm recording this video. They not about to get nobody seven million dollars and then arrest some cops. You got to be smoking dope to think that this is this is what's going on. You got to be out of your mind. But see, I blame the media. Y'all hype this case up instead of just leaving this case where it was. Okay, if you want to talk about the no-knock warrant, we can talk about that. But they was going in there because it, her house was a drug house. These are facts. They have these people on camera. They have these people, um, phone, phone, phone conversations. The dummies on phone doing trans, like, come on now. I don't know if, if, if people are stupid or they think people don't be, if you run in a big drug cartel, and she wasn't, they wasn't running something small. They was running something big. They was up under investigation for, for I think, a couple of years. This stuff, I'm, when I linked the video, the dude that I actually, I actually ended up running across the video because I had been heard a while back. Brandon Tatum had told me a while back that he had evidence that this girl was a known drug dealer and this, this, that, but they had, you know, they had to wait until the things come out. Now it's coming out, you know what I'm saying? But he told me this a while back, but I like to see the evidence. They got the case numbers and everything. This stuff you can go look up. Now, people trying to say they tarnishing her name. How is they tarnishing her name? And, and she been up under investigation for, for, for years. This investigation didn't go up under her the day she got killed in her house? No, th this been going on. That's why I go. That's why people need to just, just. Here it is once again. Y'all done been bamboozled blindfolded, whatever you, you want to call it. Meanwhile, they paid. They going to be okay while you stomping in the streets talking about Black Lives Matter and this, this, that. You know what I'm saying? You, you, oh, I'm, I was being nosy. I'm sorry. <laughs> you, you going to be out in the street protesting. Meanwhile, they got $7 billion. They about to be living lavishly. Hopefully they don't go broke. Hope you invest that seven million. I hope you make some. I hope you start something in Breonna Taylor name to tell people don't sell drugs no more. This, this is what happens when you sell, when you be a part of this type of life. I hope, I hope you're saying this and to be have a Breonna Taylor name and part of your seven million. But see, this is why people need to mind their business and stop getting hype over cases like this. Now the the people on the cop side, see, cause I wouldn't, I ain't selling it. I, at least ain't no price tag on my kids. I'm sorry. There's no no amount of money. Price. If I feel like somebody wrongfully did my kids, I'm gonna take you to court the fullest, and then I'm gonna hit you with some money. Cause once you hit them with the once you cause once you once you do it backwards, it's stuff in the agreement that you can't go against no more. You can't say. Watch after today how the family is going to vanish in the background. And certain things they not going to be talking about no more. Certain, I even say talking points they not even going to be saying anymore. Mark my word. Because in that settlement, which probably is non-disclosure, we won't know exactly what's in that settlement. When they do their press conference, it's probably going to be a little skim, but we're not going to have everything. Watch and see what I tell you. But you fools can keep marching in the streets. Black lives matter every time something happens with a cop. Y'all don't have all the information. And then y'all get hoodwinked just like this. I mean, you got to call it, it is what it is. You, you, you got hoodwinked. Now Benjamin Crump on to the next one. Because he's their attorney. So I'm assuming that he will get some money on the behalf of the $7 million. See, all this is just a game. All this is just a game. It's just, a, it's, it's a game. It's a game. It's a whole system. It's a whole game. Now they gonna be on to the next way and can't, can't wait to somebody white shoot somebody black. Cops shoot somebody black so they can go in there. Cause that's a nice little penny 
that the attorney's about to get because they got to get some money too because they're their attorneys well you guys like i said i list this this video below this dude is it's funny with the commentary the way he do it is because i stumbled across it on instagram but it's i'm gonna link that below he um he comes with the court documents rich mean you can go everything he's saying you can go look this up yourself y'all have a blessed day and stop getting hoodwinked out here by people because it's all about the mighty dollar when it comes to some of these folks <laughs>